JQ. I'm JQ, and we are the, the Q, Q Brothers. Brothers. We are. Thank Thanks for making time on a busy day. It's all good. You got two kids now. Two kids, and I'm in the middle of scoring something pretty major, so. Good deal. Congrats, my brother. Yeah. Um, hey, so uh, we are here today. We're going to do an all Mauer and Vietz day. So. Nice. We just from, you know, Mauer and Vitz is the company that owns 4711 and Tabak, two classic, classic uh, European fragrances. 4711 is the original cologne. So like when you think about cologne, it all comes from 4711, at least in my mind. You know? It is, Cologne Schwasser, Cologne Yeah, water. Cologne Water. That's one called that. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, you know, from the house that founded Cologne, we have an amazing thing to say. We have a boatload of colognes to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So they're expanding. So let's jump into it. This is called Aqua Colonia. And it's a line, and I barely smelled it. I really smelled one of them. Okay, so cool. it's going to be blind for both of us. Um, and we're just going to jump right in. Uh, the great thing about these is the 4711, you know, the Mauer and Beard stuff, this is under the 4711 brand. They tend to be extremely reasonably priced. So these are like, we're gonna- s And for liberal use. Yeah, that's right. A cologne, so not a high concentration. Big slash. Of, yeah, be used liberally because the concentration of perfume oils is not gonna be as high as an eau de toilette or an eau de parfum or parfum, right? Yeah. So, so here it is, cologne. Great summer fragrance because you can use liberally, come home after you've been outside, put some more on. First one is lemon and ginger. <laughs> that's awesome. You know, I gotta say, so uh, I mean, know, this, I, this we have is, a lot of fragrances. Yeah. And I have a lot at my house. Not, yeah. I mean, not as many as you, but I have some, you know? You have a lot. But I gotta tell you, I put on colognes more than perfumes. I, I know. And I, I, there's something about, I like the way it fades on my skin a little bit, and then it's not as loud as I go through the day, you know? Yeah. Well, and there's something about cologne and the cooling feeling so and when you're on a, on a hot day, yeah. you're just like after a shower and you know you're going to be sweaty, you put on cologne and somehow you just feel like... It's a fresh and yeah, clean, clean. Exactly. And you feel like there ain't nobody dope as you. you know? I know, yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, you love when people stare at you. <laughs> yeah, you're just so fresh, so clean. <laughs> um, this one is about as close as I can imagine to putting a to squeezing a lemon away. inside the Jack and Ginger. Yeah, totally. That's exactly what it is. Like that mist, the, the bubbles are hit your nose as you take your first drink. Oh, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Awesome. Yeah. It's so lemony. Yeah. You know, there's ginger in there, but it's so lemony. No, it's mostly lemony and just a touch of carbonated yeah. ginger. This you know? is? This one is lime and nutmeg. So each one is a citrus and a spice, right? Exactly. Okay, cool. Now this one you can taste, you can taste, you can smell the nutmeg more than you could smell the ginger on the last one, I think. Yeah, the nutmeg comes through right away. Yeah. And actually the lime is playing a backseat a little bit. So far. Here it comes. Yeah, I was gonna say the lime comes, I, I've smelled, this is the one I've smelled before. It smells less like rind though, like the first one smelled like lemon rind. This is like lemon juice. Yeah, this is more just like citrusy juice, a little tang in there. Yeah. But but that nice warm nutmeg, interesting combination. Yeah, it's warmer than I thought it would be, for sure. Yeah, I, I mean, I would say all of these so far, or the two of them so far, um, unisex for sure. Would yeah, yeah all these, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Easy. sure they're gonna be. But I mean, citrus and spice, I just yeah. feel like those play. No, but, but I think the warm, there's like, this is warm and a bit, it's like, it's kind of beautiful. Yeah. So I would say like this one it's elegant, tends, it's most it's elegant. elegant and it's almost like a florally note to the nutmeg, you know? All right, so now pink yeah. pepper and grapefruit. Florally, I don't know, something. Ambery, something. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, well, a little, little deeper note, right? Yeah, not florally. Thicker. Um, elegant, it's like an elegant, uh, and yeah, almost an ambery note to the nutmeg. It's nice. It is nice. So this is... One of my favorite things, two of my favorite things. You've never smelled this, but you mean like the ingredients. Yeah. Pink pepper and grapefruit. This is the lightest. Uh, I mean, I, I would almost disagree. It feels like the lightest to me. Well, 
I, the pepper keeps it kind of that. It's like a, <clears throat> it's there. I just mean of them. It seems the least loud, like in terms of just like punch, not in terms of the type of smell. I, I, I was gonna say I think in some ways it's a it's a strong smell, but it's just that it's it's on the high side. It doesn't have like a lot of deep notes or anything like that. Yeah. You well, know? maybe you know. Let's smell the lemon one again. It's higher than all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Because I didn't know if it was just because we followed the nutmeg. That's what I was checking. No, yeah, I know. I know what you mean. I kind of like this. I mean, first of all, grapefruit, like, you know. How can you go wrong with yeah, grapefruit? You know, it's like a proven aphrodisiac. Three of the, it is, right? Yeah. Three of the things that, like, on my shelf are have, like, a major grapefruit note yeah. in them because I just, like, love it, you know? Yeah. But the pepper keeps it like a little gin like, which is nice. You know, it has a little bit of that American gin, not uh, English gin, not dry gin. Yeah, yeah. No, Um, it's not junipery at all. No, no. I meant like the new school. Yeah, botanical gin. Yeah. Like Leatherby. Emergency provisions. Um, It's not, actually. Nope, not happening. Let a strong guy do it. I have my elbow thing right now. I can't squeeze. Yeah, it's more along the lines of those botanicals, although that's more cardamom. Yeah. But it's not junipery. No. Not at all. God, that's great. I mean, this makes me want to just forget the whole day and just have a drink with you. <laughs> um, let's do it. <laughs> I wish. Uh, okay, so here we are. Cool wine, right? But oh, I would wear any of them. I, I, would, I would wear any of them, right? Very, I want them all. very affordable price. Oh, I'm gonna get them. under thirty dollars. <laughs> under thirty dollars. But let me just show you. Okay, so now because I don't like to put it all up here, you can't see it. Each one has a bar of soap, right? Sweet bar of soap in all the fragrances. Each one has a gift set. What? Sub forty. Really? For, for a full size fragrance and a shower gel. Oh, that's awesome. You know, with it comes with um, splash and a spray top, so you decide if you like oh, splash or spray. Nice. That's that's cool. All of them do. Isn't that cool? Nice. Nice. Um, so, gift, set, gift sets in each one. And then this is really cool, and I think we should smell this just to add on. So, they also have a mini travel size bottle set that does oh, the each. whole thing, but they Plus have two. two extra scents that they don't have in the main line, oh, nice. which is, I think we should smell right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mandarin and cardamom, mm-hmm. and blood orange and basil. So will you take those out? Yeah, yeah. Here's the mandarin and cardamom. All right. Yeah, just. Oh, we can do one of each if you want. Whatever you want. All right, just want to make sure. Watch out. It's okay. All right. There we go. It doesn't. These tiny bottles, it doesn't come out. You can yeah. turn it upside down. That's actually good. Yeah. <laughs> But aren't these great little glass bottles? Totally travel size. I love them. Let me just wipe it around a little. Okay. Mandarin and cardamom. Yeah. This one almost has like a little smokiness to it. Yeah. It's like a toasted cardamom, right? Yeah. I love this. Yeah, this is super fresh. This is great. <laughs> This might be my favorite one of, the, of, the, of them so far. Now I'm like, why don't you make the large size? <laughs> that's probably why I can do it. I'm, I'm torn, I have to say, I like them all. Oh, that's great. Let's try that. That's super fresh. And then blood orange and basil. I mean, I made a drink this past uh, winter with this with both of these in them because the blood orange juice was so, blood oranges were so fresh that I just, I, squ- I squeezed them and then Bought some basil leaves. Obviously, they didn't work from my garden because it was winter. But oh, kid, I could smell that all day long. God, I want to smell it on everything. Oh my God, that's so good. Yeah, you're not taking this one. This is mine. Just so you know, you're, oh you're gonna have to God. get your own set. Oh my god, these are all so good. I know. You should get them all. I mean, I really think like this is kind of like, 
it's as far as colognes go, you it's should no have these scents. Yeah. For guys who are not into heavy colognes, like heavy fragrance, you should just have this. This You're set up all summer long to be the most amazing smelling guy at the party. Oh, women, men, and women. Men, I mean, that's where the grapefruit plays real well, and the, blood, and the blood orange basil one would play really well in winter, too. Oh, yeah. You'd be the freshest guy, you know? Or girl. They're all, and then that's the thing, is they're unisex. They're just pleasant. Like, I, don't, I can't imagine being like, that smells too manly or, no, smells, no, no. or smells too feminine. They're just smells great. This is straight outcast. So fresh and so clean, clean. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm super yeah. excited about these. They're great. Yeah. I want them. Yes. <laughs> uh, I have them. I, can so I, do you can now. I take one home? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, try it out, guys. I, I, don't, I don't see how you would, you know, the, the, the one that's a little out of the box of them, if anyone wants to know, is the nutmeg one. Yeah, I would say that is the prettiest of them. It's the prettiest and it's the heaviest, I would say, yeah. too. So um, if you're looking for light ones and, and, and in Cologne and you're looking for citrus, huge citrus, this is maybe the one that's a little, and if you're not looking for that and you want something that's a little more in that vein, this might be the one. Yeah, no, it's know. really nice. Just the other ones kind of are feel like the same sort of family. Like, this yeah. feels like a distant cousin, a little more. To me, yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. Awesome, cool. Yeah, enjoy, Aqua keep it fresh. Colonia. Yeah, 4711, Aqua Colonia. Great work.